today I will be installing SRP race pedals and I opened the box just to take a peek because I've actually had these for a while. This video is not sponsored at all, but I did get their full pack of pedals on their website. I have a manual transmission, so I have four pedals. I actually ended up getting the black anodized option. It has a like checkered pattern on it. So it helps for grip and it also will look a lot better than the stock pedals because the stock pedals are kind of like a plasticky cheap look and I think this is just an easy way to upgrade it. I did have to pay $20 extra to get this black option but I think it'll be better and you won't see the dirt as well. These are CNC'd with aircraft quality billet aluminum so they are super lightweight. I probably could actually measure the weight difference once I get my stock pedals out but this is definitely not really a weight loss thing. These might be even heavier because I'm pretty sure my pedals now are plastic. The fun thing, the pedal I'm holding right here, is this is the gas pedal. So nice. As you can see, it has this like extension piece on it. And this is actually to help with heel towing when you're shifting. And this is something I struggled with. I don't know if it's because I'm a girl and I have smaller feet, but even when I'm in a parked position, I cannot adjust my foot to touch the gas and the brake at the same time just doesn't work. It actually like extremely hurts. I have to turn my foot like past 90 degrees to try to get my toe to touch. So I read up on it and a lot of people that do road course or like to take corners <laughs> fast on the street, they get these pedals from SRP to help eliminate that problem with heel to toe. And so it'll be a lot easier and the pedals will be a lot closer. The Camaro, the pedals are actually pretty far apart. If you guys drive any JDM vehicles, all their pedals are super close and it is very easy to heel toe. So this will definitely help with that. And if you guys don't know what heel towing is, I know I haven't done a lot of driving videos explaining different techniques because I am by no means a master. So heel towing is basically when you are coming up on a corner, you need to match your engine revs to your wheel speed while simultaneously braking to make the corner. So you have your foot on the brake and then you have to blip the throttle to get into the gear that you want to make the corner without releasing the brakes because I've been having trouble with this while I'm racing too is I brake and then I have to blip down a gear and then brake again so I'm in the proper gear. So you basically gain those few short, what, milliseconds of the time it takes to do that. If you could just heel toe, it makes it a lot faster to take corners. Your foot is basically on the accelerator and the brake at the same time when you are changing gears. <laughs> This allows for smoother and quicker acceleration around the corners. Thing I have long nails to open these guys up. It does come with all the hardware that you need to install your pedals. You will have different colored screws depending on what colored pedals you get. So if you guys pay the extra and get it anodized in black like I did, then it comes with the black screws, so it's super subtle. I personally didn't like the polished look because the screws, like you can clearly see where you see the screws, so this will definitely keep it a little bit more hidden and have a cleaner look. This guy. Mm. Look how big this one is. It's huge. This one, which let's say it's your gas or your clutch, it has like a super textured pattern on it. And if you compare that to the gas pedal, it is, the gas pedal is a lot smoother. Let's put these next. You can clearly see how different it is. On the gas, it is smoother, so your foot is able to adjust off the gas easier. Um, clearly with safety, you don't want your foot gripping onto the pedal. Your acceleration, it is a lot better for your foot to grip on the brake. This also helps with heel towing, so you can get on the brake while blipping the throttle without actually getting stuck on the throttle. So it is very smooth to do things like that. All we need is a drill, which I have Milwaukee corded drill. So it's gonna have lots of power. A 316 drill bit and a 118 drill bit. We're gonna work, work our way down and do pilot holes. So we will not mess up. Along with masking where the holes are, we're gonna line these up on our pedals and then mark where we're gonna have to drill and drill holes probably about two holes for every single pedal. I have seen on forums, some people do do uh, double-sided 3M tape on the back of these pedals. And I don't recommend that because this is definitely gonna get a lot of uh, 
wear, I don't know, your foot's putting a lot of pressure on this. If it's just with tape, it'd be, it could be kind of dangerous if it comes off mid-driving or mid-taking a corner. So I definitely recommend drilling into your stock pedals. You can't really mess up. Even if you drill the hole wrong, there is a million more options of other holes you can drill into. So when we are finding the holes, we're just gonna try to avoid where the rod is welded to the pedal in my car, because you obviously do not wanna drill through the welds that hold your pedal forward. And let's get started on the install. To take these ones off, I believe we just peel them back. They're literally just rubber and they pop off. Well, you can see on the back, they're just attached. Pedal just sits into the sides of the pedal and it's made in Mexico, not America, woo. We are left with a bare metal piece here. So we will punch in through the holes when I line the pedal on to see where we, where we are gonna drill. All right, let's try to line up. I think I'll be able to make a screw here and here, which will be perfect. I've gotten better about this, but make sure to wear safety glasses and put your hair up because we are working with rotating tools and I'm also like shaving metal out of my pedals. So I don't want that going into my eyeballs. Oh, we're not doing gloves. Sorry. <laughs> up in size. I put the bigger bit on and now that we have our pilot holes that are actually kind of big, this will now be aligned perfectly and we'll be able to screw in the new pedals. Welded rod, like the weld marks are like right behind it. And so I just kind of went for it hoping I wouldn't be drilling through the welds and it actually worked out perfect and it was just on the outside of the welds. So now they're gonna be even and beautiful. I've seen like a couple other videos where people to kind of do wonky like diagonal ones. I didn't want that, <laughs> but it ended up working out. I literally just scratched the paint. So there's one and there's the other. That saves me a bunch of time and I'd also don't have to shove a marker through these holes. I wish there was an easier way to put my body into this thing. This is not the most comfortable. I almost want to take my door off so this is easier. And my side skirt sticks out. It's like magnetic for itself. That couldn't be more perfect. Stock versus nail. These look so much better. All right, I'm gonna wear the stock ones. This is in grams, so 88 grams for the stock ones that we took out. And then I'll see how much weight we're adding. So 255. And then we can subtract the 88 grams. And so this is how much weight we'll be adding. We're adding 167 grams. Total, we are adding 0.37 pounds to the weight of a car with getting these pedals. I think it's worth it to drive better. Now I'm on to the accelerator. And this accelerator is super weird because it's really long. I'm talking about the OEM one. The rod that holds the whole pedal, the welding basically takes up the entire pedal. But I figured out, if you stick your hands on the right side of the pedal, you'll see these two little like holes and notches behind it. So I'm putting the screws there. I'm putting one high and one low to just go in those two areas. The rod is not. I made a little notch there and a little notch right there. You cannot really remove this. If you did, there would be nowhere to drill the new one. I am just putting this one on top like that. That was so much easier. Yay! The hardest part of this install is the way you have to reach all the way underneath there and like the way you have to bend over. Not implying anything, but my body hurts, guys. On Camaro 5, which on Camaro 5 is a forum, a lot of Camaro owners on here and it answers a lot of your questions. This has been my lifesaver. 
But this is what happens if you try to remove the dead petal. There is a huge like foam box underneath it. And so if you try to remove the dead petal, it will break all the tabs through this foam box. And it also forms to the shape of the carpet. So everyone's recommending to not remove the dead petal or the accelerator. Apparently you just drill right through the accelerator and the dead pedal. So you put your new pedals on top of the accelerator and your dead pedal. The pedal is attached in with the clips. We don't want those clips to break. And that's the entire pedal unit, which we do not want to mess with. All right, those were the easiest things I've ever done in my life. I can say aesthetically, 10 out of 10. Performance wise, 10 out of 10. It's a cheat mod. I don't see why more Camaro people don't talk about these pedals. Um, I've had multiple people already message me and say that they struggle with heel to toe in this car. And now my foot actually reaches the accelerator and the brake at the same time with no issues whatsoever. I can simply just roll my foot over the brake and hit the gas, which is going to be super helpful for when I'm trying to heel toe around corners and on the track. It'll make me pull out of the corners a lot more smoothly and accelerate faster and just become an overall better driver. I will also have the link to these products in the description down below. And mind you, this video is not sponsored whatsoever. This is simply a mod that I've been wanting for myself. I hope you all had an amazing day or night, whatever time it is, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.